Hi everybody, it's me Dottie, and this is Dottie's Daisies, and I am here to change Miss Violet into this little Halloween dress and bow and socks. I didn't have any shoes that would fit her, but it's a little kitty cat dress, black dress with a kitty cat face on it, and little ears, and then the little um, onesie is orange with black polka dots. And I'm just going to put her with an orange bow, white socks, because I don't have any shoes that are fitter, like black shoes, you know. But I also am going to do a tag while I'm dressing her, and it's by My Reborn Nursery, and it's the Halloween tag. So, anyways, how's everybody doing? I hope well. Let me get my baby girl, my baby girl, my baby girl, yeah. I gotta get my baby girl. Uh, this is Miss Violet. She's the Levi sculpt. And she is my baby. I absolutely love her to bits and bits and bits. Um, so, let's see. Let's take your passy baby girl. And let's take your little hair bow out of your hair. Let's take your little onesies off. Okay, first question is, have you ever played with a Ouija board? I think in high school, I can't remember if I did that night or not because I know it scared me and I've always been scared of stuff when it comes to Halloween. I'm a big baby. Uh, when it comes to scary movies, things like that, I don't like it. I just, I've never have. Um, so if I did, it was more or less to try to fit in with um, everyone. Um, that's if I did that night, I don't remember because I know it was a long time ago and people were scaring me and um, I lived in Alaska at the time and, and I was hanging out with, it was like a big old party at my friend's house and me being a young, dumb, stupid teenager, I was getting into stuff that I shouldn't have. So if I did that night, I really don't remember. But other than that, no, I would not play with that because to me, that's like, to me, playing with a Ouija board is like opening up something that is very dangerous, in my, in my opinion, okay? Because, you know, I'm very, I am very open-minded to things, but not when it comes to like Ouija boards or to me that I would find demonic. That's, that's my opinion. Number two, are you superstitious? Um, no, not now, but, and I know this is so funny because I've watched so many people do this same tag and they bring up the same thing, but when I was younger, I had some older cousins and they locked, we went in the bathroom and we played Bloody Mary and they knew I was scared and they said it and then they run out really quick and I didn't know it. But my older, one of my older guy cousins, he was in the shower and he had um, a flashlight that he, he put at the bottom of his uh, chin and it made his face light up red and they scared me. They scared me so bad that I actually peed my britches. I peed my pants. I was that scared. No lie. But um, other than that, no, not as an adult, no. But I was then. That scared the he I was probably seven, eight years old when that happened. They we went because my aunt and them had like a really big house and they had like three bathrooms. And one of the bathrooms that well, one part of the house was mainly where all the kids played and stuff. Because the house was like actually two houses combined. They they there was a house there and then they brought a house in there and they combined it and which turned it into a like our large house. Like the house had like Two kitchens, had three bathrooms. I don't know how many bedrooms, <laughs> but it was a really large house. And so one part of the house, the, all of us kids always hung out in. And because I was the one of the youngest, which it was me and my brother were the youngest. And then all my other cousins, they were five years older than me. So yeah, <sighs> they were mean to me when I was little. Mm -mm. Anyways, <laughs> number three. Which urban legend scares you the most? And I don't think, I don't, I don't know of any urban legends, like, really. 
Or is the urban legend like Bloody Mary? Maybe I got that wrong. See, I'm not really good when it comes to like scary stuff because I just, it just, it really scares the heebie-jeebies out of me. Like for real. I mean, I don't, I don't mess with stuff like that. <laughs> <clears throat> so I don't think I don't think any, I, maybe I answered the question okay oh yeah superstitions I get it now there um superstitions um I don't like a black cat run in front of me I will not walk under a um a ladder um I don't open up uh umbrellas in the house Think, you know, things like that. I just don't do that. And if you ever notice me when I'm walking, <laughs> I try my darndest not to step on cracks. <laughs> Even now, you know, if you step on a crack, you break your mama's back. Oh my God. <laughs> and it, I really do sometimes. I, I have caught myself when I went well before I had to um, go in my wheelchair. But when I would walk, I would try my darndest not to step on a crack. So, little things like that. Okay, so, all right. I hope that answered y'all's questions. <laughs> and then the urban legend was Bloody Mary. <laughs> so, number four. If you was dared to stay in a haunted house, would you? Honestly, um, I would if my husband was with me. And the reason I say this is my husband used to do paranormal stuff. Uh, he was on a paranormal group. He was in a paranormal group. He actually went and did investigations. And a few times I went on the investigations. And this is where I'm going to tell you. There was, this is how of a big baby I was. A lot of times I didn't go in the place where they were doing their investigations. Because I was scared that a entity or a bad spirit would like follow me home. So a lot of times when he was doing his, um, his ghost hunting... I would stay outside or sit in his car and play on my phone, things like that. But I just liked going with him because um, the people that was in his group was really nice. They were fun to um, talk to and we would eat dinner before they would do their investigations. And sometimes they would do, do them in like a, a motel and um, my husband and I had... Um, we were going to stay the night a few times, but then we ended up coming home. So, but anyways, I would if my husband was there with me. But, but if it was just me, myself, and I, no, I would not. <laughs> I am a big baby. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> when it comes to, like, to scary movies and stuff, I don't even watch scary movies. Like I tell everybody, I watch my fingers. I would literally have my fingers in front of my face because it scares it scares me to I have I will be scared to go to the bathroom at night. Um if I sit in here and watch these shows, like me and my old son used to watch a show it was called My Haunted House or My Haunted Home or something like that. I would only watch it during the day because I hated watching it at night because it would scare me. And I I'm telling you, no. Mm mm. <clears throat> Number five, favorite monster or villain. Well, I'm going to go back to those things. I'm scared of those things. So, But the only monsters that I like is from Monsters, Inc., Sully and Mike. <laughs> they are the cutest monsters. And Casper the Ghost. I love Casper the Ghost. I love that movie. <laughs> I can handle things like that, but I don't like Freddy Cougar. I don't like Jason. I don't like... Michael Myers. I don't like any of that stuff. My dad took me to go see The Candyman because all my friends were like, oh, you gotta go see this movie. And my parents, <laughs> they were like, you're not gonna like it. You're not gonna like it. And I was wanting to fit in so bad. I was like, yes. My dad goes, well, I'll go with you. And my dad literally went to the movies with me and our friends for me to watch The Candyman. This is, this is, yeah, this was when I was in high school. And we went to see The Candyman. I literally did not watch that movie. I was like buried in my jacket and my dad goes, we can leave anytime you want to leave. And I was like, no daddy. I said, I'm going to sit here with my friends. And I never even watched the movie. I can't even tell you. I can maybe one of the scary parts, but that's it. Other than that, I know. Cause when it first come on and it was a scary part, I was like, 
nope, 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 nope. Mm -mm. Not today, Satan. <laughs> um, number six, my favorite Halloween candy. Oh my goodness. I am not a big chocolate eater, but I love like Twizzler, Skittles, Starburst, Laffy Taffy, or those fruit Tootsie Rolls. I love those things. Or um, those little Mary Janes are like, or bits of honey. That's what it is. Bits of honey. I love that kind of stuff. I love anything that's like a fruity, fruity type of candy <laughs> for Halloween. Um, I'm not a big candy corn girl. Um, actually, I literally threw a whole bag away the other day. My husband and I went and bought um, Halloween candy. And my husband bought some when he went by himself. And he bought bags of um, candy corn because we're going to be... Um, well, I'll get to that one. I'll tell you more that one, the other question. But, yeah, my favorite <clears throat> Halloween candy is fruity candy. <laughs> All right. Number number seven. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or trick-or-treating? Well, when my children were smaller, I loved taking them um, trick-or-treating. It was it made me happy. Um, there was a couple times that we would load up on trucks and their friends would ride or they would ride with their friends and we would like all the parents would either walk behind them or they would um ride in a vehicle which mainly it was a truck we'd have the truck bed down so they could hop on it when we had to go a little further um and then when they got older we had made friends with some people that did um halloween parties and they did adult halloween parties and i loved going to that that was really fun but now that my husband and i have been going to church and getting involved with our church <clears throat> the last three years now we have done trun trunk a treat at the church and we give out um candy to trick-or-treaters that come out there and we decorate our trunks and sit in a parking lot at, at our church. Lots of churches around here do that. And we give out candy to, and we have a we have a cook off, and there's um, hay rides and things like that. So we um, that's what that's what we do now. You know, instead of instead of taking my children, because my children are adults now. So <laughs> I guess when I start having grandbabies, I'll go back to trick or treating. <laughs> <laughs> or just bringing them to the church. <laughs> um, but we don't do the Halloween parties anymore because those, you know, used to get kind of wild. There's so many times I had come home from doing drinking and stuff that I shouldn't have been doing. And I was drunker than a skunk. I think that's the phrase, ain't it? Oh my goodness, look, Miss Violet. In her little Halloween dress. Um, so that was my Reborn Nurseries tag. And it's called the Halloween tag. I will tag her in the, uh, the title. So you guys go over there and check out her channel. I seen this tag on Lighthearted Life and Collectibles. Um, my Wonderful World of Reborns. And several other people have done this tag. So, yes. My sweet Violet. I am, like, so obsessed with this baby. You guys, I know. Look, I have several babies in my collection. I have one, two. Wait, let's see. I have one, two, three. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. I have seven total. Addie is one of my favorites. And Violet is one of my is is my favorite. Okay, I said it. I have a favorite baby, and Violet is it. Violet is my go through go to baby. I absolutely love her. I love the way she's painted. I love her colorations. Jackie from Jacqueline's Baby Doll Daycare. She did phenomenal. She painted Bethany, Jackson, and um, Violet. She did an amazing job. I absolutely adore her. I really hate that I've been missing my girls because we have a group chat that we do. And I absolutely love chatting with them and just FaceTiming with them. Lori, it's Lori and Jackie. I'm Pam. 
Um, I really do enjoy it. Uh, I just, life has been so busy lately and I have not been able to get up with them. One, I've been sick, they've been sick, and then now my brother-in-law passed away. So, um, I hope, like I told, like I, uh, I got four babies I've got to paint, start painting for our lady. Um, she just wants me to paint them and do the eyelashes and the eyes and the magnet. She's going to put them together, but, um, I'm going to paint them for her because she asked me if I would do the painting, which was very nice. She brought me the kits and everything, and she asked me if I would paint them for her, and she's bought several of my babies that I've painted, but, um, anywho. So, I've got to get started on that, and maybe I can sit and do painting with my girls because I am sure missing my girl Gabs, and I'm missing the girls. So, anyways... I'm going to let y'all go. No, there's not going to be any special, like, uh, intros or anything like that to my videos because I'm having a hard time, like I said, with my phone. Um, one minute it stops recording. That's why another reason why I haven't been making videos is because it'll stop recording saying I have too much in my phone, not enough space. I have deleted. I don't know how much stuff. And it still seems to not be much space, but it's showing that I have a lot of space, if that makes any sense. So, yeah. And this phone has been giving me a fit for over a year anyways. I'm waiting till income tax or my husband's bonus at Christmas time. And I'm hopefully going to get a new phone. Hopefully. So, yeah. But anywho, you guys have a fantabulous day. I am, I'm here I'm alive and I'm kicking. I'm sorry I just haven't been around. Thank you to all that has reached out and is just, y'all are just the sweetest and I love you all. So, bye guys. You have a great rest of your, today is Tuesday. Rest of your Tuesday. Bye guys.